Now at 530, the search for a shooter. A gunman opens fire, nearly killing a pregnant woman in northwest Miami-Dade early this morning. Investigators say so far they are stumped. They need help solving this crime. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us live from Jackson Memorial Hospital, where the victim and her unborn child were taken. Peter, first of all, how are they doing? Well, Rick and Rudabay, they were brought here in critical condition, and so far, family members and friends, though, have been reluctant to say anything because they say they have not been told anything lately about how they are doing. They do hope that mother and her unborn child will survive. Miami Dade police say it was just before 5 30 in the morning when the pregnant woman, who was in her 20s, was wounded in front of a home. That's when Miami Dade Fire Rescue received a report about shots fired at Northwest 20th Avenue and 49th Street. The gunfire was detected by the county's shot spotter system, which sent a signal to 911, and fire rescue and police were alerted. Neighbors said they heard about six gunshots but did not get a good look at the shooter. The victim was brought here to the Ryder Trauma Center with three gunshot wounds to her head and neck. Detectives scoured the area looking for clues. They say the shooter fled westbound from Northwest 20th Avenue. They say it's not known if the woman was the target. So far, she has not been identified, and police have few clues. Now, police uh, say the woman did have surgery, but because of her condition, they've not been able to question her to get a good description of the shooter in this case. That's why right now there's no good description being released of that person at this point. If you can help Miami-Dade police with this case, call them or Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.